What is research? What is it to actually be out on the water with sharks? We're really trying to figure out this white shark puzzle. These are sentinel species for all of the ocean. There was a time years ago when scientists said they needed a hundred sharks to be able to publish good defensible science. And people were like, that's impossible. And we're now up to shark number 92. We came so far so fast. One meeting with Chris Fisher, and you know the vision, it sells itself. Yeah, it's just really busy this morning, and we woke up to a white shark. The guys have another, so it could be an interesting day. But if you look back to 2012, we knew very little about our white sharks. Any estimate of size or sex? 13 footish, best guess is female. Exactly what we're looking for. Here we go. Seven foot one okay. is the girth. We can bring this aft right. when everyone's ready. Oh, it's an exciting way to actually do the research and see them in their natural environment to figure out where they're going and what they're doing. Got it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. We're trying to put our planet back to a position of abundance and, and balance and we're winning that. So this is the biologger that we put out on Umi last night and once we download the data off this guy we'll be able to figure out what she's been up to in the last 13 or so hours. I followed OSEARCH because I just absolutely love sharks and the scientists and the kinds of research that they're doing and producing a great body of work. Pure reviewed publication is the best way that we have to share what we're learning with the wider community. Notable publications this year were two papers on toxicology, looking at muscle and plasma mercury levels in white sharks. The other paper looked at heavy metals. PCL 8. That sounds good. Perfect. Woo! White Shark Global happened in November of this year and it brought together all of the researchers around the world studying all of the different white shark populations. And you know it's a good project when everybody wants to be a part of it. The most significant thing this year is the establishment of the OSEARCH Global Headquarters. Not only the biggest moment of 2023, but one of the biggest moments in the history of OSEARCH. Working out of our new dock at Mayport, that's really going to be a game changer. Bringing in researchers to students to the public, all working towards a similar goal. We are trying to build more information on databases. And we intend to continue this campaign next year over in Europe and the Mediterranean. When you look out here, you see people catching fish, commercial boats going back to the dock, recreational people going home. We solved the puzzle of the white shark. Those industries are going to thrive. Those people are going to have jobs. And our kids are going to see an ocean full of fish. A lot of sushi is right there. We're we catching them. <laughs> there is no you and me. There is just us around the future abundance of our ocean. Make sure we know we left it much better than we found it. Thank you very much. To do. <laughs> in 2024, we're breaking ground on the OSEARCH Global Headquarters. And then the most difficult challenge we've ever taken on, moving the ship over to begin solving the puzzle of the Mediterranean white shark population. And we hope to take us from knowing almost nothing to knowing almost everything about their lives in less than 10 years. So this work around white sharks is really to enable all the people that count on the ocean for a future to have a future.